We may not come to Jesus with a physical illness, but all of us come to Jesus in the depth of sin sickness, and only he can heal us from within and bridge the impossible gap between us and a holy God. Jesus took the weight of our sorrow and our sin when he died a torturous death on the cross and then rose again three days later. He defeated sin and death forever and he made it possible for us to be reconciled to the Savior. If that does not evoke abundant joy within our souls, what else will? There's an enormous harvest in acting on faith with our entire lives and Joanna took that risk and she modeled that to us. She lived by a message to serve Jesus. Mark 8 and 35. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me and for the gospel will save it. Joanna temporarily sacrificed her family life, her personal safety, material comforts to walk with Jesus. I think that that's a good example for us and a reminder this morning to do the same. What path are you walking? What is in your hand? Where or who is in your sphere of influence? What risks will you take? But ultimately, within your own heart, with what he is saying to you, what will you do with Jesus?